a lot of losses I took from my life. My mom's, my father, my grandmother dying. Like, I went to a crazy opioid addiction. And <clears throat> it wasn't no, you know, no, 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 uh, no aid, no, no rehab. Nobody talking to me. I snapped out that shit. I said I deserve better. I got my shit back together. So the book is kind of like me weathering those storms and thinking myself for wanting to see myself do better. So did that addiction affect your, you know, production as an artist in any way? Yeah, I started recording for like a whole year. Oh yeah, I started recording. I ain't write a song. I didn't listen to music for oh yeah. Oh yeah, I ain't listen to music. That shit wow. like, fuck me up. So I think that was like the whole year 2018. I ain't listening to no music. I was musicless. I took a break from that shit. It was like doing that shit for mad years and years and not like getting it to yourself. I took a whole fucking year off, bro. Wow. Mm hmm. And yeah, you know like how people say you kind of walk to a beat. You know, so I couldn't imagine a world without music. You see what I'm saying? So it's safe to I'm say. I'm a music person. Like, music controls my life. So, like, listening to certain songs, I just found myself crying. Like, I didn't know who to cry for. My mother, my father, my grandmother. Like, every song just made me emotional. So I had to stay away from that shit. So how did you get to a point where you could say, okay, I could record again, I could listen to music again? I have a lot of fans, man. Niggas kept leaving me, yo, we really need that shit, nigga, where you at? Uh, like, I could screenshot that shit, like, with the fans, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it wasn't for them niggas, I'm gonna be right. For sure. Fans, like, I'm like, nah, I can't do this to niggas, this niggas, so, you know? You know, so you know you you know, you fall in and out of love with yourself, you know, especially when you're an artist. It's a you have a real love hate relationship with yourself. One day you feel like a piece of shit. You got millions, you got money, you got cars, you got jury, but you being a real nigga, this is not having the ego, this is you knowing you. You know what I mean? You might wake up and just not feel like a piece of shit. And go online and the nigga DMG or movie. My favorite artist, nigga, you got me through high school, nigga. Where that new shit at? Right. And that comment right there make me want to throw some beats on and start writing and then want to put out a new project. Because that nigga right there said that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that be the motivation. Because the damn show ain't the fucking money. Spotify ain't paying a so paying nigga on a fraction of a penny. Right. <laughs> yep. That's it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, like, if you got any type of music out of me, nigga, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it was out of love. It was out of me loving the craft and not wanting my fans to wake up every day and <coughs> check the internet and ain't no new how well out. Yo, what's up? This is Wise from Stetsasonic, a.k.a. Lito Brigante, and you listening to Circle the Block Radio. Listen, y'all. Ace.